Hello everybody, it's Yami, and today we're going to be watching The Rainbow Sisters by It's Skylar. I'm going to have a link to the original in the description, do make sure to go and check that out, but for now, let's get into the gacha. We are in the hospital right now, it's all going down, she's giving birth. She's had some twins! Oh look, it's a twin! I'm so proud of you! Oh my gosh, was that three more babies? Three? That means five babies, that is way too many. Dad is shook. What's wrong, hun? What's wrong? You've just given birth to five babies. This guy signed up for one. His face says a thousand words. This has to be a joke. Oh my gosh, she's bringing more. How many? Surely that's it, right? I know that you don't want a big family, but please don't leave me and our children. Iris, fine, it's fine. I won't leave you, no matter what. Thank you. He does not look like he wants to be there, but I respect him. He said he's staying with her. What a great husband. I'm just gonna use you for money anyways. Okay, I take it back. I immediately take it back. Here comes the nurse. Surely there's no more babies. Congratulations to you both. You have seven daughters. Let me guess. This has to be some kind of joke, right? Actually, no. We even tested their DNA and found out that some of them have a gene mutation so that their hair and their eye colors will be different. But the good thing is, none of them have any special diseases. You may come out now and sign your papers. All right, so I've got the papers. You can name all of them. Yeah, because they're gonna have my last name anyway. Great, I know what their hair color is going to be based on their eye colors. The one with the red hair is going to be Ruby. The one with the orange hair is going to be Amber. The one with the yellow hair is gonna be Goldie. And the one with the green hair is going to be Emerald. The one with the blue hair is gonna be Sapphire. And the purple one is Amethyst. Lastly, the pink baby girl is gonna be Crystal. Ruby Aveline, Amber Aveline, Goldie Aveline, Emerald Aveline, Sapphire Aveline, Amethyst Aveline, and finally, Crystal Aveline. Too many babies. Those are good names, aren't they? Oh, look at mum. She's so proud of herself. Yeah. Let's go out and sign these papers. Okay, time to sign the papers. Those babies are yours. Let's do this. Mum does not look happy. Babe, it's so hard to stand. Yeah, she kind of just gave birth to seven babies. I cannot imagine how she's feeling right now. I am so tired of you complaining all the time. And why couldn't you have at least given birth to a boy? Sir, girls and boys are both human. They both deserve love. Ah, shut up. Wow, this guy is really about to attack the nurse. I am getting out of here. He really is just storming off. Babe, please. And you know what? We've broken up. Wow, so much for what he said earlier. This guy is horrible. Please, how about the babies? It's all right, ma'am. Would you like to bring your children home? Yes, please. Okay, ma'am, but first you need to sign the paper for your children. Okay, girl, sign your life away. You are having to sign papers for seven children. 20 minutes later. Yeah, that's a lot of paperwork. I'm done. Great, now you have to get your children and pay for your treatment. Oh gosh, think of the medical bills for seven births. How much is the treatment? It's about $80,000. Girl is gonna have to take out a big loan. But I don't have that much. So I guess you're in debt now. I love how the nurse is saying it like, oh well. Not my problem. You need to pay all of your debt this year. Or we'll have to call the police on you. Please, I swear I will pay my debt, I promise. Just don't call the police on me. Ma'am, please calm down. Just remember to pay all of your debt this year. Please go and get your kids and return to your home. Thank you so much. This nurse has just told her that she's gonna have to pay $80,000. And if she doesn't, she's going to have the police called on her. And she's like, Thanks. There they are. Ruby, Amber, Goldie, Emerald, Sapphire, Amethyst, Crystal, all enough. My lovely children, I am so sorry that I don't have enough money to afford a stroller for you. That would be one a big stroller. Can you imagine a stroller with seven babies in it? It would be like a bus. You can stay in my bag, right? These children are not dogs. You cannot put them in your bag. She's not gonna put the babies in a bag, is she? That would be so lovely for you to stay with each other, right? Do not put the children in a bag. I mean, she doesn't have a choice. She doesn't have a stroller. She only has a bag. What was I thinking? Oh, she is about to have a breakdown. Is that the bag? She has suddenly changed into a criminal's outfit. What is going on? Listen, it will be quite uncomfortable for a while, okay? She's really out here going with the bag. 
Yep, she's put the babies in a bag. It's not enough. The bag is not big enough. Wait, is she leaving some of the babies? No way. Oh no, she's just got another bag. She is unhinged and she is directly kicking her way out of the hospital window. She could have just gone out of the door, but instead she chose to yeet herself out the window. Why? She ran. She really did. And she ran and ran. We are back at our house. You know what though? She has a really nice house. I respect that. Why can't I open the door? Oh. That's why the husband. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. This is my house. Where? I don't see your name written on it. I bought this house with my own money. How about the certificate of land use? It doesn't have your name on it. Meanwhile, it has my name on it. Now, get out of here before I call the police. You. She's really having to leave with her bag of children. Looks like it's started to rain. What a terrible day this has been. What is that? What has she seen? That looks like an old house. Oh great, she's going to break into an abandoned house and raise her seven children there. How did she spot that? It is so far away. Okay, almost there. That does not look like a house. That looks like a barn where you keep animals, not children. But she's gone in there anyway. This looks like it's a living room. It does, and it does not look abandoned. It looks amazing. I'm here for it. Let's get my children out. There we go, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> seven babies. Shush now, children. Let's change you guys. All right, we have one baby wearing the pink, another one in the orange. All right, she's got rainbow clothes. I'm here for it. These babies look huge all of a sudden. Why are they so big? What happened? They have grown so much in the space of like an hour. You girls are so gorgeous. Stay here for mommy, okay? Mommy needs to explore the house. Yes, because mommy has no idea if this is safe. This looks like a kitchen. This is probably the bathroom. Okay, this is a hallway. This is the second floor and it looks really nice. There's even a lit fire. This is giving lived in not abandoned. This could be Ruby's room. There is so many more bedrooms in this house, but this one's red, so it fits Ruby. This one can be Amber's bedroom. This one can be Goldie's bedroom. And this room is blue, so it should be for Sapphire. Isn't this room a little bit too dark? I just hope Amethyst would like it. Whoa, this room is so nice, but it doesn't have a bed, so maybe Crystal could sleep in here? What? What does she have against Crystal? I don't know if you should be making a baby sleep on a sofa. All right, we've had enough exploring. I should take care of myself now. Take care of yourself. You've had a long day. Time to remove that criminal's hood and those criminal clothes. It's so nice that there are free clothes here. This is giving somebody else's house, somebody else's clothes. Yeah, I cannot see this being good. Huh? What is that? What is it? Yeah, I'm curious. Leave a like on this video right now if you think somebody else is in the house. Here is mom looking shook and what the heck is that? Is that a ghost? Is that an angel? Whoa, it disappeared. Maybe I'm just tired. Oh no, the children. What has happened? Seriously, what is going on? Amber, what have you done? Ma, it's not me. Wait, these babies can talk now. They can also stand. These babies are evolving. Shush, come here, Amethyst. I'll heal you. But it wasn't me. Meanwhile, I cannot believe that Amber would do this. What if it wasn't Amber? What if it was that strange, mysterious angel devil ghost or whatever it was? But it's fine, because mom is going to take care of her. Poor Amethyst. Amy, you're fine now. Wait a second. Hello. It was like a vision. It appeared and then it disappeared. There it is again. Mommy. I think this house is haunted. And that's probably why it's abandoned. Amber doesn't look like the kind to hit Amethyst. Amber, did you hit Amethyst? No, me never did it. It was a black thing. Black thing attack me. Black thing? Yeah, girl, I think this house is haunted. I've seen it somewhere. It was right here. It was right here, but it's not here now. Where's it gone? Gosh, she's just ripping up the place. What is that? Girl is going crazy. What is happening with the children? Goldie, what the heck are you doing? Mom. Ambi is the black thing. No, it's not me. Ambi is the black thing. Goldie, apologize to Amber right now. I am so sorry, Ambi. And I cannot get over the fact that these children are one day old. They're already speaking, already standing, and they look like children. But after all, this is Gacha. 
and that's just how it be sometimes. I am sorry, Amethyst. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I'll be in friends. It's okay. Okay, great. Let's go heal you. She's leaving the children again. You should never leave the children in this haunted house. That is a lesson that I'm learning. Why hasn't she? But the black thing. Don't worry. I don't think it would harm us anymore. Who said I wouldn't harm you? The black thing is back, baby. I'm terrified. Huh? No, no! Mama! Mama! Honestly, I do not blame these kids for being scared. What is going on? What is happening? The kids are trying to escape, but these flying creepy devil things are like, nah, -uh, you ain't allowed. Oh my goodness. Things are getting serious in this house. Ah! <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh my goodness. He disappeared. Lucky, Lucky for you, you, little one. But, but don't, don't be so happy. Because I'll, I'll be back, back anytime, anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> my arm. No, mum. Oh my gosh! Mom, I need mom! Goldie, calm down. Girls, what are you? Goldie! Oh my gosh! This doesn't look like a normal injury. Come on, I need to take you to the hospital. At the hospital. Your girl is back with all of her babies. How was my daughter, miss? Well, it seems like we have a lot to do. How did that injury happen? I don't know. It was because of the black thing. It just suddenly came and it attacked Amethyst by using magic powers. Yeah, if you were the nurse, you would totally be like, okay, little one, whatever. But then Goldie came in to save Amethyst and she got attacked by the black thing. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but this is not something to be joking about. No, it was real. Yeah, me, Crystal, Ruby, Amethyst, Sapphire, and Goldie were all there. I'm so sorry. Let me repeat that. We don't like joking about things like this. Anyway, miss, come with me for a while. So, I have some questions for you. How old are your daughters? They were just born some hours ago. And they can already talk, they can already walk, and they can already defend themselves from black things. How? I don't know. But we move. Ma'am, I can see that you're lying. That's impossible. What? How? I'm telling the truth. Babies need to be at least eight months old to walk. And most babies will say their first word when they're 12 months old. So there are no chances of your babies walking and talking when they're just a few hours old. No, there must be a mistake. Because my children could walk within a few hours after they were born. Here's the proof. Wait. That's impossible. I told you, it's real. Ma'am, I need to run a few tests on your children. Because I've never seen anything like this before. So, you're telling me that this is not normal? Yes, that's why I told you I need to run a few tests. Oh, okay then. I'm sorry, but how does a mum not know that this isn't normal? What baby is walking and talking just after being born? Everybody knows that, right? Apparently not. Apparently the mum doesn't. They are like full-grown children right now. Not babies. I swear they're growing every second. Mom. Oh, these poor children are about to be experimented on. Listen, you need to stay with the nurse for a while, so please be good. But mom, why? Please just do it for mummy, okay? Promise to be good. All of the Rainbow Sisters have promised that they're gonna be good. That's great. Now girls, follow me. Oh, the mom looks so sad. What is wrong with my children? Meanwhile, okay, so uh, you guys look kind of unique. Who's the oldest here? Ruby. Me. Okay, so you're coming with me, Ruby. Oh, she does actually look very small in comparison to the nurse. What about us? I don't know. Is she gonna abandon us? I hope not. Anyway, why are you so quiet the whole time, Amber? You scared me. Oh, uh, come on. Don't don't be so shy. Yeah, I mean chill. There's nothing to worry about. Guys, look at that. Oh wow, someone is at the window. Who is that? Whoa, that was weird. I know, right? And the weirdest thing is that I felt safe too. If you felt safe, why would you act so scared at first? I don't know, it was just weird. I mean, it was really weird, but she just looked like a super older version of me. That would be so good, because then you'd have a twin. Aren't they all twins? They were all born at the same time. So she she already has a twin. She, she has, has six, six of them. them. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, what if she was dangerous? What if she wasn't? She doesn't look like the other black thing we saw. Don't judge a book by its cover, Crystal. She is not a book. Okay, what is going on here? Mylia, 
Maelia Adern? Well, it's sad to say, but your time has come. Okay, this guy is real scary. And wait a second, he's outside of the hospital where the Rainbow Sisters are. These poor children have been through so much in only a few hours of life. What's wrong, Amy? I don't know, I've just got a weird feeling. My forehead hurts. And I feel like there's something wet coming out of my forehead, but there's nothing there. What is wrong with her? Oh my gosh. Is she having like a headache? A migraine? You're fine, there's nothing nothing on your forehead. I know, but it keeps on hurting. Guys, I can see some red thing over there. I'm gonna explore it. Oh girl, this is not a good idea. Crystal, no, that's so dangerous. I'm coming too. Now it's you as well. Are you being serious? I guess it's just the three of us here now. Let's just try to relax. Oh no, these girls are investigating a murder scene. This is not good. Crystal, do you really think this is a good idea? Of course it is, follow me. No, Crystal, this is a terrible idea. Crystal, please stop. Let's go back to the hospital. We just did it. Let's do this till the end. Please, it's so cold out here. Please stop. Ah! No, please don't. You think you could get away that easily, kid? Hi, guys. I'm back. Wait, where's Emerald? I don't know. Are you being serious? Well, it's simple. We went to explore and then we saw something scary, so I ran back. Why did you leave her? Do you even have a heart? Well, at least I'm safe. Did you really just say that? I mean, I respect it, but also she left her sister to potentially die. Oh. You are a selfish idiot. I'm coming with you, Sapphire. Emerald. You too? Oh, no. No, Emerald! I'll go get some help. You and Amber need to watch her. Someone please help. Miss, you're already in so much debt with us. If you can't pay off your bills now, we either put you into jail or unalive your child. What? What kind of hospital is this? I have no words. Ma'am, please, I promise I'll pay all of my debt. Please, just give me a chance. I don't have a job or anything, but I swear I'll pay all of my debts. Ma'am, please calm down. Imagine being told that the the hospital is even gonna put you in jail or unalive your child and then being told to calm down. I, I just can't. I can. I'll give you a chance to pay off all of your debts this week. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go and find a job right now. I'm gonna get a job. Help! Wait, where was that noise coming from? We need help! Amethyst, are you back yet? Oh my gosh, girls, what happened? Mom, please help us! Mom, are you okay? I think mom has passed out from pure shock. She just went from being really happy and being like, I'm gonna get a job, to then being like, oh my gosh, my children are in danger. Mom has collapsed, but a at least the nurses are here, so everything's gonna be okay. Hello, there's currently an emergency. I need more doctors and nurses to come out here right now. We are in the snow nearby the hospital. I'll send you my location. Come on, sweetheart, let's go back to the hospital. Now let's go back to the hospital where they're not being looked after at all. Shouldn't somebody have been watching these children? Let me put you back, okay? Wait a second. We can see the guy in the background. He is creeping through the windows. Guess who's back? Crystal is not funny. Oh, I'm sorry then. Whatever. Kids, you need to come with me quick. I just need to do a few tests from you and your sisters. Nothing more. Hey. Yeah. You're really good at this, Sir Black Hair. Ahaha, <laughs> thank you for saying that. We should go, shall we? We have many things to do, so of course we should go. What about our patient? Let's go. Wow, that's kind of rude. It must be this room. She looks like a cilia, but a darker version of her. Wait a second, who's a cilia? And why were those doctors so unprofessional? No, I should stop thinking about her. Ah, what was I working on again? Ah, yes, I need to take her blood. All right, so it looks like she's running some tests. What are they gonna find out that's my question so we're in another hospital room right now with sir blackhead which is a very disgusting name because it just reminds me of pimples hmm yes remember to be very careful on her shoulder because if you do that part wrong the patient's whole arm will have to be amputated of course i remember that i've been working here for 10 years how are the children we still haven't found any results anyway do you find these children kind of similar yeah the purple one looks like my child but a darker version. Same here, but it's a yellow one for me. It's been over five years now, and I still can't really get over it. The nurses in the main room may now go back to work. Have a good day, miss. Have a good day. So they used to have children, but they lost them five years ago. I wonder why. Okay, so we're back with Amethyst and she's still sleeping. All right, taking her blood for some experiments and some tests. Later at 5 p.m. Here you go. Let me guess. 
It's about the Rainbow Sisters, right? Yes, it's about their early walking and their talking. I've sent the news to some scientists. I'm sure that you guys managed to take their blood, right? Yes, I collected it and I put it inside of the science lab. Why did you put them in the science lab? Babe. Yes, darling. Can you go to the science lab and get that blood for me? I'm on my way. Stop right there. What is going on with these nurses? They are chasing each other and preventing anyone from getting this blood. They obviously know something that we don't. Are you crazy? Did you know that only doctors who have 20 years of experience or more can go in there? Have you even seen the rules? Hey, listen. Were you guys trying to keep those kids away from being tested? on? You've got my point. If you want to know the story so bad, then I'll tell you. Ooh, we're gonna find out. You have to promise not to tell anybody. So, it all started when... Flashback. Miss Whitehair, we have a new one to test. It's a child this time. Whoa. And what's wrong with the child? Her mum reported that she could walk just a few hours after being born. Just that? What do you mean by just that? There's no babies that have been able to do that before. But you're the lead. I have no choice. So she's having to run experiments on this child. Attention, the test subject has just woken up. Oh no, what are they doing? And I was terrified. She's just a child. She's only five years old. Listen, this is what we have to do. Fine, I guess. Years had passed. And this was the very last moment. She was no more. And no matter how hard we tried, it always ended in a very bad way. End of flashback. And that's why I don't want you to get their blood. I remember hearing this on the news. But the chance of death from these tests are very low. You know, you shouldn't believe everything you hear on the news these days. If you'd excuse me. Blake, why didn't you stop her? What are you waiting for? Let's go stop her. She is making her way to the bloods. Stop right there. What is your problem? I don't think stopping her would help. What about the children? You would never understand what those children could go through. Is she going to get the blood? Now all I need to do is find the blood. I wonder where it is. What? Oh my goodness, there are a lot. How is she gonna know which ones to take? Seriously, I thought this would be simple. There's literally a bunch of DNA here. How could I find out which one is theirs? It has to be in a special place. I better be quick. Wait a second, what is going on? Is that the black thing? I love how it's called that. We don't actually have a proper name for these creatures. So it's just known as the black thing. What is happening though? I'm confused and also scared. I can't open it. I guess I'm going to have to call the emergency team. Anyway, is she allowed to go into the science lab yet? No, this is her first day working here. Hello, is this the emergency team? The science lab has been locked and there is someone in there who is a beginner nurse. Yeah, we need your help right now. Have a good day. Ugh, it must be here somewhere. Right, I could check the information in the folders room. Then I could find their information about their blood type. But Candace might be outside the door. What is that thing? It looks like a crystal ball. I wonder what this is. Should she really be touching that? Oh gosh, she did. Got it. We better go. Yes, because somebody is trying to take all the blood. Oh my goodness, guys. And it turns out she shouldn't have touched it. Oh dear. Hello, police. Ten minutes later. Candace, what's going on? Clara, she didn't make it. Anyway, I heard that the police are going to question the whole hospital tonight. So remember to be in the therapist room at 7pm today. That was weird. Ugh. Whatever. Everybody has emotions. Let's just continue with my work. It has been a very dramatic day at the hospital. What else could possibly go wrong? Oh, her phone is ringing. Hello? Hello, is this Miss Blake? Yes, it's Miss Blake. Oh, hello, Miss Blake. I just wanted to report to you about those Rainbow Sisters. I just found out that the reason they can walk hours after being born is because they have some kind of gene mutation. Poor kids, just because of their mutation gene, they've ended up like this. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to say that since we found out the reason that they walk at such a young age, would you be able to wake those kids up and take care of them just for a while? Yeah, sure. How annoying. So it's time for all of the Rainbow Sisters to be woken up as we have found out the reason for them being able to walk, talk and grow so fast. Here is every single Rainbow Sister. They all look so happy. Maybe I should get them some gifts as well. I should change my clothes so that it doesn't look obvious. Or I could just put on a coat and I'll remove this hat. 
Let's go for now. Oh, what is going on in the background? Someone has proposed. Isn't that sweet? And we all got to share that beautiful moment together. Welcome to the Christmas store. How may I help you? Could I get seven random gifts, please? And what's your budget? Oh, she's counting her money. What has she got? $100, $200, $500? I only have $5 left. Oh girl, you might struggle to get presents on that budget. All right, I'll be back. Wait, what? I'm so curious to see what these gifts are. After a few minutes, here are your gifts. Thank you so much. She's handed over the money. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Okay, she's going back to all of the girls, but this time she's coming back with gifts. Where am I? Gifts! But why do I feel so much pain? It's because you're injured. I don't like this. I don't like being injured. Look, it's okay because soon you'll be normal again. And you'll be healed. Here's your gifts. They're from Santa. He's supposed to give you the gifts while you're asleep. But why did you give it to me instead of Santa? It's because he's really busy right now and he doesn't have time to give you gifts. So he went around and asked random people to give gifts to you guys. And he asked me. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope that we can see each other soon. Bye bye. Sissy, wake up. Santa has given us all gifts. I guess we just need to pick a gift from those back over there. All of the sisters are digging in. They cannot wait for the gifts. Guys, is it just me or does my gift seem pretty weird? Wait, I have the same gift as yours. But well, what do they expect when all of the gifts were bought with $5? They're gonna be really terrible. Just a necklace, seriously. A necklace is a pretty cool gift. Crystal, be grateful, at least you got something. She's right, whatever. So, I guess that we all have the same gift? Just different colors. We should try them on. It looks good on you. Thank you, Ambi. You guys should try yours on too. I'm not wearing this thing, it's ugly. Crystal, just give it a try. It might look really good on you. Ugh, fine. I bet it looks cute because each necklace suits each sister so it has to look perfect right i know they were only like one dollar each but still they're adorable wow i look wonderful nah we look wonderful perfect you're really good at this thank you your majesty and you because you threw our spell away and it's ended up like this your majesty i didn't mean that it was an accident be quiet gats take her away wait a second who was she she was giving me evil vibes can you explain what you were doing at 5 30 i was taking care of my patients in room 69 23 and 240. please explain where you were at 5 30. i was with dr cody trying to go to the science room that's where nurse clara was i was with nurse candace trying to go to the science room that's where Nurse Clara was. I was just doing surgery in room 222. And I was testing my patient's blood. How about asking the patients? Maybe one of those could be the murderers. Are you sure about that? I mean, they're sick and injured. How could they be a murderer if they're all tired? What if they fake being sick and injured just to come here to murder people? This policewoman is super dramatic. I mean, you have a good point. Are you crazy? The doctors could easily see if the person was really sick or not. What if the doctor was new? Most doctors take three to seven years to learn what to do in medical school. So they would know if the patient was really sick or not because they've spent years in there. Wait, you're right. You can't just make up an idea and then change it afterwards. I'm sorry, I just wanted to change my idea. All right. How many people agree with my idea? Me. What is going on with the police? They are arguing with themselves and it is just terrible. And now they're eating donuts. Hi mate, do you want a donut? I've got a plan about this case. Since we have no idea about the doctors, we decided to check on the patients. Are you sure that's a good idea? Of course. Attention! You guys go tell the other police to question all of the patients. Every single one in this hospital. Yes, let's go. Attention guys. I've just realized that our boss wants to have a very important meeting today. We better go. Okay, so everybody knows now that they have to question the patients, but what is going on there? Did you see that? Because that looks like the black thing. And it's back again. But this time it's a police officer? What is going on? You don't always have to be in a rush. The new generation are here. What do you mean by the new generation? I can't tell you here. It's not safe. Let's go somewhere else. 
private. Okay, so what do you want to tell us? Have you ever heard about the Rainbow Sisters? You know, from your childhood? Let me guess, those legends that were around in the 50s? It's not really like that. Flashback. Woo! A picture for our fifth anniversary of friendship. Are you guys done yet? Of course, Miss Fiery. I told you so many times that my name is Flamelia, not Fiery. One time, she told me that she had powers. And of course, I didn't believe her. Whoa! Look at that, it's beautiful! But then she showed me proof. And she taught me all about magic. Until that one day, I received a message. Aqua! I feel like something terrible has happened to Aqua. Oh no, she's going to search for her. I can't go up. I need to try harder. Aqua! Oh dear, she went to search for her friend, but now she's gotten into trouble. Ocean, save her with your power. I'm not strong enough. Come on, hopefully somebody can save her. The book is glowing. Okay, surely there's some magic or something. What are you doing? You can use this book to save somebody's life, but there's only one condition. They're saving her. Oh my gosh, Aqualia, what have you done? Flame. Come down. Oh my gosh, where did the book go? Seriously, let's go, we're gonna be late. It's not my fault, it's Aqua's fault. It's my best friend. The portal is gonna close anytime soon. Quick, we have to go. Well, it looks like she survived, but it sounds like there's a consequence. And I think the book has been destroyed. Where am I? Aqua! Come on, Aqua, the portal is gonna close anytime soon. But what about Ocean? Believe me, you will see her soon. Now, let's go. Oh, but Ocean's not gonna know where she is. Aqua! Please, let me go. Wait, did she see her and still decide to go into the portal? Or do you think she just missed her? Poor Ocean, she's so sad. End of flashback. And that's all that I remember. What? These people. What are you doing here? Aren't you guys supposed to be working? Lucas, I... Get back to work now. Why is Lucas acting so strange today? I know, right? He he used to be really friendly and funny. Do you have any clue, Ocean? It might be because our boss said something to him. We need to find out. Are you crazy? That's not our job. We might get fired because of that. Well, at least respect my opinion. Who said I didn't respect your opinion? Stop! Both of you. We're supposed to be working together, not arguing. What? They're going to question the whole hospital tonight? What if they think that I'm the killer and then they decide to take me to jail? I have a great plan. Wait a second, what are they up to? With that suspicious smirk. Michelle. What, Brianna? I heard that the police is going to question the whole hospital tonight, including the patients. What if they misunderstood? and you ended up in jail. I don't care, I'm fine with that. Oh dear, you wouldn't know what to say, would you? So, do you wanna work with me or not? Yes, of course. I'm going to tell all of the others about my plan, so don't you dare leak anything to the police. Goodbye. Brianna is truly evil. Here's the mom, she's laid down, not looking very good, and she's very confused. Where am I? I might be in a hospital. Oh dear, here comes Brianna. Hi, I'm Brianna. Hi, Brianna. May I please have your name? Iris is my name. That's a very good name. Anyway, have you heard about the case? What case? The murder case. That's horrible. Are my children okay? They are, if you follow my plan. I'm not gonna work with you. Would you rather get caught in jail than live a happy life with your children? The chance of the police arresting the wrong person is very low. I don't need to work with you to look like I'm innocent. Why should I work with a monster like you? Did you just call me a monster? Yes. And do I need to repeat it? This mama has had enough. She just wants her babies to be safe. And she has seriously annoyed Brianna. People these days. Hello there. Now, everybody has come here, so pay attention. May I have all of your guys' names? I'm Mark. I'm Chantel. My name's Ryan. Honestly, this hospital is getting wild. All right. So here's the plan. There's this girl named Iris in the hospital. She didn't want to work with us, so she is our target. And what we should do is, when the police are asking questions, we're gonna act like she's the murderer. Oh my gosh, they're trying to pin the blame on the Rainbow Sisters' mom. And she could go to jail for something she didn't do. Got it. This is not good. I have to tell my sisters. Guys, our mom is in danger. 
Are you gonna put our siblings in danger again? No, this is real and we have to do something about this. Crystal, stop being so annoying. Ruby, that's mean. I just say what I think. Crystal, are you all right? No, everybody hates me and nobody ever listens to me. Crystal, listen, I don't hate you and I'll listen to you. You can tell me anything. We have to protect our mom. Why? What's happened? She's telling her sister all about the patients who are gonna set the mum up. Yes, Crystal, I trust you. Finally, somebody trusts me. So, how should we help mum? I don't know. Later on, and it's time for the appointment with the police. It's Iris from room 444. She chased me with a bloody knife. And then a pink haired girl came to save me. And then she chased her into the science lab. I also saw a black haired girl and a black haired boy. And then they chased the pink haired girl. And what about you other guys? I confirm that the thing they said was true. She really sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Because I was near there and I saw Iris and she was chasing my friend Brianna with something on her. I saw my brother near there and um, um, she attacked my brother, but luckily my brother escaped. Okay, that's everything we need. Let's go. Are they about to arrest Iris? Your acting was amazing, guys. Yours too. Here's Iris, fast asleep. And she has no idea that she's been framed for the murders. Ma'am, you need to wake up. You've missed your appointment. Oh, I'm sorry, I just remembered I had a bad dream. Ma'am, you missed a really important appointment with the police. Miss Iris, you need to come with us. Iris is not helping her case. She slept through the appointment and now she's in court. All right, start. She chased me with a bloody knife and then a pink haired girl came in and she started to change the target to her instead. And then I saw that she chased the pink hair girl into the science lab, and then I don't know what happened after that. The lies, the audacity. You are a liar. I was chasing Candace because she didn't have enough experience to go into the science lab. I was chasing her the whole time and Iris wasn't there. You can even ask Dr. Cody for proof. Order, I said order. When she changed the target, Brianna came to me and she hugged me and she wouldn't stop crying. I can tell that they're telling the truth because I was also near there. This girl adds absolutely nothing. She just regurgitates nonsense. She's like, I was there in the room because I saw them with the eyes that I have in my head. Miss Iris was chasing my brother, but luckily he managed to escape from her. Miss Iris, you are guilty. What, she's being framed for the murders? I haven't done anything, I'm innocent. Miss Iris, you are guilty, not because of the case of Candace and her death, but you might not remember me, but I do remember you. There she is being taken away by the police. She's been arrested, oh no. Have you found an orphanage for them yet? Aren't you the one that read the orphanage? information. A lot of these papers are outdated. I feel like I've lost my motivation. Excuse me, do you know where the office is? Oh, it's this way. Follow me. Right in there. Thank you. No need to bow. See you later. See you later too. Girl, you forgot to get his name. Okay, but why should I? Never mind. But who was that guy? And what is he doing in the office? How about we sneak into the office? We go into the computer and find the orphanage information. That would be a lot easier. Are you sure? We're not allowed in the office because that's not our job. Come on, it's our job to find the orphanage easier. If you say so. Ooh, they've snuck in and they're on the computer. Hey, I found an orphanage. Okay, they're on a website. Sign your child up for an orphanage. Lamau, what am I doing? Okay, whatever, no one would care. Let's get to the point. Orphanage information. Sorry, but I love that. The creator of this gacha is so funny. All right, there's a contact number for the orphanage. There's an address and it's on Gizm Street. Wonderful street name. See, it's not that hard to find an orphanage online. Sure, I guess. What are you doing in here? Hi, Livy. Long time no see. Hi, Monica. All right, sorry for saying this, but you need to leave. All right, Miss Girly Bossy. What's going on in here? Oh no, they just got caught. Don't ever do that again. I don't want to see your guys' faces in the office ever again. We're so sorry, boss. Don't make the same mistake again. Now keep working. Um, sorry for saying this, but did you remember any info about the orphanage? Oh no, I feel like they've both forgotten. That didn't go to plan, did it? I guess you don't. Contact number, blah, 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 blah. 
The address was Gizm Street. She remembered! Yay! The Rainbow Sisters are gonna get adopted! Wow, Ocean, you have an amazing memory. I know. Oh, and by the way, you're going to pick up the children because I did the last case. Fine, but you're gonna drive me. Of course, that's my favorite thing to do. Okay, we're on the way to pick up the Rainbow Sisters and Ocean is feeling really tired right now. Maybe a little nap won't hurt. Whoa, what? She's been transported into this scary castle? I don't know. This place is terrifying. What happened? What the heck? The black thing is back. Where is she now? She's outside of a creepy house. Where am I? Ocean run! What in the world is going on? Icilia? Oh my gosh, was that one of the Rainbow Sisters? You know, that the nurses were speaking about that apparently were experimented on and maybe passed away? Hmm, I wonder. Ah! Ah, sorry, I was speeding. Olivia, you need to stop speeding or we're gonna get pulled over by the police. Girl, we are the police. True. Okay, I'm gonna get those kids now. Isilia? No, Isilia has blue eyes and longer hair. Just keep going, Ocean. Hello there, may I ask where the Aveline's room is? Wait a second, who is that in the background? Oh, their room is on the left. Thank you. All right, have a nice day, officer. You too. No, but seriously, what is that thing? We are so sorry, Crystal. Yeah, we shouldn't have told you that. We're very sorry. It's okay, we're sisters anyway. Here comes the police officer. To take them to the orphanage, how sad. Who are you? Hey, listen, your mom went to jail because of an action that she did. She was framed for murder. So she can't be with you now. So please, you have to follow me. All of the sisters are going to an orphanage. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The black thing, what is it doing? Why is it there? <gasps> It had a third eye. Why? I don't know. How are they gonna fit all of these children into that car? That's what I'm wondering. Again, with the weird black things in the background all of the time. Is anybody else seeing that? That there. Olivia, are you sure this orphanage is normal? Yeah, it looks perfectly fine. All right, if you say so. Kids, you can come out now. Off they go to the orphanage. And that thing just moved. It's moving again. Oh my gosh, jump scare. Hello there, young lady. How can I help you? I want to sign these children up. Oh, I see. May I ask why? Their mother had a jail sentence and I don't know about their dad. I really don't. May I please have their names? The red one is Ruby, the orange one is Amber, the yellow one is Goldie, the green one is Emerald, the blue one is Sapphire, the purple one is Amethyst, and the pink one is Crystal. And all of their last names are Aveline. All right, you can leave now, officer. All right then, bye bye, kids. Kids look so unhappy and honestly, I don't blame them. All right now, kids, you can stay here for a moment. I need to go and pick your rooms. And if you've been watching the Rainbow Sisters, you know know to never leave them alone in a room because something terrible always happens. And I feel like that's about to happen now. I have a scary feeling. I think I just saw a black thing earlier. Girl, so did we. Don't worry, just hide in here. Okay then kids, your room is this way. This is going to be for Ruby, Amber, Goldie and Emerald. This is your bedroom. Sapphire, Amethyst and Crystal come with me. You are in another room. So this is Sapphire, Amethyst and Crystal's bedroom. Oh, and by the way, let me just change all of you guys. Your hair is now perfect, dear. Oh, and by the way, I have something very important to tell you later. So be careful. I recommend staying in your room at the moment. Maybe let's choose our bed while we're waiting. Yeah, I choose that one over there. And I choose that bunk. All right, let's wait until she comes back. They're currently just having fun at this moment. Honestly, it doesn't look like much fun. Looks like they're just laid on the beds. Oh, now they're definitely having fun. And now they're exhausted. I'm so tired. Yeah, I think we need water. Then let's just go get some water. What? No, Granny said it's dangerous. Then I'll go get it. Thank you, you're such a lifesaver. Oh no, she doesn't even know where she's going. This is a terrible idea. What? in the world was that? Some kind of poltergeist or something just grabbed her. And if I was her, I would be running straight back to that bedroom. Wait, I haven't seen you around. Oh, I'm new. 
Anyway, do you know where Granny is? Don't call her Granny, because that is disrespectful. And she's making dinner downstairs. Thanks. Wait, why is that disrespectful? I thought it was kind of cute. There she is, and she really does look like a Granny, so I understand why she called her that. Hi, darling. Do you need anything? Just three bottles of water, please. It's right there in the cabinet. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's time to get some water. Surely nothing can go wrong with that. Ugh, I don't remember where my room is. Maybe it's in here. Nope, nobody's in there. Uh-oh, the light's just turned off. What? Wait a second. Why are there two of her? Except this one that's kind of creepy and evil. Come, Come play, play with, with me. me. She was terrifying. She is not impressed. She's trying to leave the room. I would do the same thing. Don't you dare even come closer. This is why you shouldn't leave your room. Hey, Sapphire, you're safe now. Yeah, didn't grandmother say that this room is the safest place? Shush, I'm sure you're gonna be all right. Just don't think about it too much. Thank you so much for your comfort. Here comes Granny, because dinner is ready. We're coming. Sapphire does not look like she's in the mood for eating, but she's probably really hungry at this point. Hopefully they don't see the spirit again. Where did the others go? Here they are. I wonder where the others are. This way? Sapphire, Amethyst, Crystal, Ruby. Hello there, sisters. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you guys are safe. Sapphire, thanks for helping me walk after my injury. No problem. We're sisters anyway. Anyway, I think this place is kind of weird. She's not wrong there. Here comes Granny. Whoa, kids, why aren't you at the dinner table yet? They say we're having a family reunion. It's really important. All right, we're coming. Are these the only kids in this orphanage? Sus. Enjoy your meal. After you've done eating, make sure to stay here until I come back. Because you're new here, you need to know the rules. Mmm, looks delicious. AKA looks like a bowl of milk. Oh, wait, what? Guys, don't eat the food. What did Granny do to the food? Thank gosh we haven't eaten it. We need to get out of here. Amethyst, no. Grandmother already said it's dangerous outside and we need to know the rules first. No, it's actually dangerous. I saw the black thing when we were entering this place. Yeah, and I entered a room earlier that had someone who looked exactly like me and they asked me if I wanted to play with them. Okay, this place is crazy. Oh my gosh, the black thing is at the window. What is it doing? What is the black thing writing on the window with blood? Because I have a feeling it was. And if so, that is so creepy. What is that thing doing? Whoa, what does that say? Where is destiny? And all of a sudden, the black thing has gone. It's just disappeared. Shush, don't worry, we're safe in here. I know, but what should we do with this food? Well, I don't know. Here comes Granny. Please be quiet and eat your food. Grandmother, I'm not going to answer anybody's questions if you don't all finish your food. Just finish your food, guys. After they all finish their food, they do not look happy about it. I see that you've all finished your food there. Now, please follow me. We need to leave this building. Yes, they definitely do. And what? I swear that was the girl from the corridor earlier. All of these people look really creepy in this orphanage. Mother, why did you lock the door? Oh, aren't there other people in there? What do you mean by other people, my dear? Nobody was in there. No, I saw people in there too. Oh dear, maybe you all just have really bad eyesight. Or maybe they were ghosts. You need to come with me. Please sit down on the floor. Seems like everybody is ready. So I'm going to read the rules now. Oh my gosh, why does she look so menacing? Rule number one, never go in the first door on the second floor or she will take your soul. Rule number two, never go for a swim in the river near the dining room. People who did were never found. Rule number three, Never use the first floor bathroom when it's turning 12 a.m. Because the haunted mirror will get you. And rule number four is, Mother, are you okay? I'm not feeling very good right now. But what? We need to know rule number four. Please go to your room. They all left and none of them cared about their mother. Nice try. Who is this? Destiny. She was very scary. What's happening to mother? Is she okay? Sapphire, Amethyst, and Crystal, come in. Is everyone okay? Yeah, but that was crazy. Should we return to our rooms? If you want to, but be careful. And if you need something, come to our room. All the sisters are separating again. Should we go to bed early? Yeah, good idea. Oh, look at them. Fast asleep. And I think mother's okay. She's walking by a picture here. And if you look on the right, that's the weird spirit girl who appeared behind mother. But who are these girls? Hi, 
Is this Miss Destiny? Yes, it's Miss Destiny. How can I help you? Well, I'm the officer that sent you the seven kids earlier. And I forgot to tell you that they all have special conditions. Are their conditions that bad? Not really, but I will say that they'll grow faster than the other kids. That's okay for you though, right? I feel like this is something the police should have mentioned earlier. You know, before she took the kids on. She's shook. She cannot believe it. What is she doing? Some parkour? She's running. She has a needle. Why? What is going on? It will be just for a little while. I'm already scared of the new mother. I feel like she's up to something. Hi, I'm Ruby and this is my sister Emerald. I really love hanging out with her. Hey Ruby, put your head down. Sure my dear sister. I actually made that for you because you're the best sister ever. Wow, thank you Emerald. No problem sister. Emerald, come on! She is the most kind, caring, and sweet person that I have ever met. As an older sister, I'm very proud of Emerald. By that tree is Amber. She loves spending time alone, but she often acts kind of weird like she's talking to herself. What? But she's not talking to herself! She was talking to a ghost! Anyway, over there is Goldie. Ha ha, I won again. She's an athlete and a tomboy, I would say. Wait, I need to get an ice cream. Oh, that looks delicious, but wait a second. She's crashed into Sapphire, who's reading a book. She's an introvert and she's trying to learn how to read before school. Sometimes she acts pretty cold as well, but I don't really care though. Eh, what's that noise outside? That's Amethyst and Crystal. They're really good friends. I really like how their friendship is going. Ruby, come. Coming, mother. It's mine and my sister's sixth birthday today. Ooh, we've had a little bit of a time skip. And by a little, I mean six years. And I feel so sad because the sisters haven't been adopted yet. Blow out the candles. Oh, bless them. Happy birthday to the Aveline sisters. All right, time for the cake. A cake made of freshly grown strawberries from our garden. Wow, that was really good. I know, right? I love the strawberries so much. By the way, did you all know that? Mother is sending us to school tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm so excited to learn new things. Oh my gosh, yay, I can't wait to play soccer with the new people. Because 1v1 with Jason is getting kind of boring. Same here, I hope there's a flower garden at school. Same here, Emerald. But I really hope that Amber can socialize with people by herself. But let's go to bed early tonight for school. <sighs> Most kids can't survive here for nine months and they have survived here for six years. What does she mean? Oh my gosh, that girl is terrifying. Is she real or is she a spirit? Why does everybody forget about me? I protect everyone and yet only Amber notices. I'm leaving. Okay, it's time for school. This is very exciting. Ruby, your hair is beautiful. Thank you, mother. No problem, sweetheart. Goldie, this is the seventh time this week that you've eaten food from the floor. Ew, gross. Eighth time actually, but whatever. Ah! Pearl, where are you? Pearl! Amber, tell me what's wrong. Trust me, you don't need her. Who is Pearl? That's what I want to know. What happened? Well, you would know the answer if you didn't hold on to that book all day. Jeez, it's just a question. Don't be so pressed. Or are you jealous that I can read before you? You little... Goldie, stop. Violence is not the answer. If you lay a finger on Sapphire, I will tell mother. Kids, get ready for school. Remember to eat your lunch. Here's the school bus dropping them off for their very first day. I bet they're all so excited. Oh wait, I think I'm lost now. Oh no. Hey, you seem lost. Do you need any help? Oh, sure. Cool, I'm Jenny. Honestly, I thought she was a black thing. Can you imagine if they followed the Rainbow Sisters to school? That would be insane. I'm Ruby. Cool, and what class are you in? 1A. No way, I'm also in that class. Let's head to class, shall we? Yay, a new friend! I guess Ruby forgot about me. Meanwhile, my necklace is glowing. Oh my gosh, that book is glowing as well. I was going on with Sapphire. Whoa. All right, calm down, Sapphire. R -r -r Rainbow, M my gosh, I wish I knew how to read. Oh no, it's the bell. What was in that book though? It disappeared, so we'll never know. Last time. Hey, Sapphire, I didn't know that you were also in class 1A. Who's that, Ruby? She's my sister, Sapphire. Oh, hey there, Sapphire. Don't mind her, she's just being shy. Oh, that's okay, no worries. Already got a friend. I'm jealous. Whatever, I'm just gonna read books. Sapphire, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, if you say so. Is that your new book? Ruby, it's not my book. Did you steal it? 
I understand that you want to read books. Just please don't steal it and give it back to the owner. She hasn't stolen the book. It's magic and it kind of put itself into her bag, which now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it does look like stealing. Ruby, I swear I didn't steal it. Just look at what it does. What does it do? Oh my gosh, Ruby is shook. Did it just glow red? The same thing happened to me, but it glowed blue. Let's try to see what's inside. Listen, I can't really read what's in there, okay? I know, but try to read this maybe. If you touch the book and it glows, that's because you're the right person. Wait, what? This book was made for the Rainbow Sisters. What does that mean? I think that we are the right people. But not only are we the right people, our sisters are too. Yes, I knew it. Anyway, let's study. The teacher is here. You are so boring. My name is Ori, and I'm your English teacher. Open your book on the first page. Oh my, what a boring lesson. I did not like English at school. To be honest, I didn't really like any of the subjects. I just wanted to go home and play Minecraft. Okay, so where do you think the others are? Well, I don't know. You don't know? Are you serious? Well, I might not know where the others are, but I think Emerald might be in the school garden. She told me this morning. Okay then, let's go. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Emerald! Stop it with your acting. Emerald, what do you mean? Don't act like you don't know. We both knew it all. Emerald, wait! What in the world is going on with Emerald? She has gone AWOL. What have you done? Leave me alone. Are you serious? Well, this is a disaster, isn't it? Whatever, let's just head to the library. Here we are in the library and we found two more sisters. Sapphire, what just happened? You don't need to know. If you say so but I'm worried. By the way, can you touch this book? Ooh, let's see if it glows purple. It did. It just glowed. The same thing happened to me, but it glowed blue. Wait, let me try. It's gonna glow pink, isn't it? It did. That's insane. Now we just need amber, goldie, and emerald. Because if the book said that we touch it and it glows, it has the right people. Anyways, about Goldie and Amber, have you seen them? Well, I don't know. What about you, Crystal? I don't know either. When did you last see them? On the first floor, outside B. Thank you. Yeah, go, and don't ever come back. Fight, 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 bruh. What is happening? Oh no, is there actually a fight happening? There's a giant crowd. This isn't very good. Who's fighting? Goldie, stop it. Later when mother came. Oh dear, mother's here and she is not impressed. Goldie, why did you do that? Because she was being mean to Amber. You know, Goldie, it is a really good thing to defend someone who needs help, but fighting someone isn't a very good way to do it. Violence is not the answer even in Gacha. Fine. Meanwhile, Sapphire is sat twiddling a pencil. I knew it. Sapphire? Yes, miss? Your grandma told you it's time for you to go home today. It's so weird today. Am I supposed to walk home with my sisters right now? But yet, for some reason, we still ended up going home at the same time. But I think that doesn't matter though. At least we got home safely. Why does the mother slash grandmother, not sure what she is anymore, have a giant shopping cart full with bags. They're all multicolored bags as well. This makes me feel like the bags belong to the children. Kids, we have a very important announcement today. What is it, mother? Please take this as a good thing. You're getting adopted. What? No, I'm not ready yet. Well, I'm sorry, but you just have to accept it. Oh, so they're being adopted, which explains why all of their bags were packed up and ready to go inside of a shopping cart. Weird choice, but also kind of practical. A lot of orphans really want to get adopted, so you should all be happy. But I don't want to leave you. Oh, my heart, that is so sad. I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. I'll miss you, Grandma. So where are the girls going now? That's the question. Hopefully somewhere nice. This might be your new parents. Hello, sir. Are you here for the Avalines? Yes, I am. Amazing. Give me a second. Your new parents are here. Please be good with them, okay? We, we promise. promise. We have met him before. Amber, what do you mean? Ruby, you have to believe me. Amber, I don't even know what you mean. Just shut up. That's not the way to go about it. Upsetting your sister? Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Kids, remember to keep silent or else I will punish you. What parent goes and adopts a bunch of children and then asks them to be quiet? That's just not how it's gonna work, my guy. Look at them all sat in silence. This is so strange. What should we do now? Hold up, I remember this. Sapphire is pulling out the magic book. Goldie, 
You touch it. Oh yeah, let's see if it glows yellow. Did it just glow? Yeah, that's what I mean. We are the right people. It glows for everybody. This is good since we all have to touch the book. But what should we do with it now though? How about we do a house tour? Because we don't know what the rooms look like yet. Good idea. So these two are just messing around and what the heck? She just got pushed into some kind of angel or a ghost. I don't know what that was, but I'm kind of scared. Oh my gosh, stop it, Amy. What was that thing? That's what I want to know. Did this house used to be a school? Yeah, maybe. What in the world? What the? That's what I was asking. How did she do that? I'm kind of scared of this house. It's giving bad vibes. What was that? A vent on the wall? Why is there a room in there? A bedroom? There was an entire bedroom behind there. Why is there a window inside of here? Oh, it's a blue closet. These clothes are so cute. Wow, she changed her clothes like instantly. That takes skill. This is the best day of my life. She's just gone to sleep on the bed inside of the vent. Both very strange things. Everybody's getting to explore this house though. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, are you trying to unlock it? It's been years. What's in this room? Why is the bed so tall? Because it's a loft bed. I'm so sorry that I ignored you at school. I thought you were hanging out with others. Aww, they're having a little sibling fight. It's okay, sister, I forgive you. And they've made up in the end, that is adorable. All of the sisters are back in the same room. So, we all have a bedroom, right? Yes, but my room is literally a classroom. It had a chalkboard and everything. Bruh, be grateful, my room doesn't even have a door. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing. You little piece of... Oop, here comes dad. Who was being so loud? It was Amethyst. No, I... Silence. Amethyst, come with me. Why did it sound so scary when dad asked her to come with him? I hope she's not in too much trouble. Goldie, imagine what could have happened. Don't worry, it's definitely going to be a small punishment. By the way, do you guys remember our old orphanage rules? I do. Number one. Never go to the first door on the second floor. Number two, never go swim in the river near the dining room. And number three, never use the first floor bathroom when it's turning 12 a.m. And I never heard of the fourth one. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Anyway, the fifth rule was always walk with someone when passing the river. And number six was don't stay in the library for too long. Bruh, I stayed in there all day and nothing happened to me. Yeah, mother definitely lied. No, because I heard that the library is the third safest place in that orphanage. Anyway, Anyway, let's talk about the rumors. I heard that if you go into the biggest bush on the left, that you will enter a forest. And if you go straight, it will lead you to an abandoned place. I play in the garden all of the time, but I never actually did that. If you would have told me that earlier, I would have totally gone in there. Yeah, right. Has anyone realized that it's already been 10 minutes? And Amethyst hasn't come back yet. I'll go and check on her. This house is pretty big. I'm gonna go check the basement. Oh my gosh. What is happening down here? No, I would never leave you like this. Amethyst, please don't go. You're my everything. Oh no, what happened to Amethyst? What the heck? Someone definitely did this while I wasn't looking. I will find them no matter who it was. If it wasn't the dad, then who was it? Because I thought it was him, but maybe I was wrong. Where are you? Just come out already. Dad is so angry. Can you imagine adopting children and then this happening? This is like any parent's worst nightmare. Poor dad. I really hope Amethyst makes it. Oh, look who's here. Goldie, how did you get here? No time to explain. Follow me. I am so confused. She is climbing through the ceiling. What? No time to question. You just need to escape out the wall. Put the poster on now. Amy, are you all right? She's not all right. She's already passed out. This is all very dramatic. Hide Amethyst, quick, he's coming. Hide Amethyst in your bedroom, Crystal. Quick, you need to get her out of here. Because what if it was the dad? I knew the kids in this neighborhood were gonna do this. Now I've got to find that purple kid. I am so confused. Was it the dad? Was it not? Will we ever find out? Okay, we gotta hide her in the bedroom, under the bed. Great idea. Have you seen Amethyst anywhere? No, father. Don't you dare call me father. Call me sir. I haven't seen Amethyst anywhere, sir. Why is he being so mean? 
Maybe he did do it. I miss mother. A few hours later, they met up in Amethyst and Crystal's bedroom. The whole gang is here. This place is like a nightmare. I want to go home. No more like. We all want to go home. Our new parents are awful. How about we plan an escape? And after escaping, where are we gonna live? On the streets? Yeah, but he loves us, right? That's why he adopted us. I'm just not sure what you guys think, but that's what I think. Besides, I think living in the orphanage was better. Ugh, don't even mention it. Let's just go to bed, it's getting late. Good night, Amethyst. Hopefully, she's okay in the morning. Sleep is really good for healing. Wait, what? Jump scare! The next morning. Amethyst hasn't woken up yet. Maybe she's just sleeping. I'm gonna be all right at school, but I hope Amethyst is gonna be okay. All right, it's time to go to school and Amethyst hasn't woken up? That's not a good sign, surely. What is going on in here? Okay, I am officially scared. Whoa, 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 what was that? So strange. Was she possessed? What was that? You've seen enough. Wait, what does that mean? Why does this guy have a giant syringe? It's literally bigger than him. Where am I? Yeah, where is she? I thought she was going to school. I don't recognize this place. Strange. Where is she though? This place looks completely different. A giant speaker? I look different? Why does she look different? What is going on? Has she gone to some alternate universe or something? Looks at the calendar on the wall. 10 years has passed? I'm sorry, but what? Is she a time traveler? Crystal! Sapphire! What is going on? What do you mean what's going on? Our father gave me a strange syringe and I woke up and it's 10 years later. Wait. Hold on, you remembered what happened? Yeah, and after that, I woke up like this. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is you are sure that you remember that happened? I am positive. No way, that happened to me twice. How? It only happened once. Well, you see back where we are in the orphanage. When it was our first night, our mother also gave us the same syringe. I was the only one that saw the whole thing. And that's also why I'm the only one that remembered. Then why didn't you tell me? Already told Amethyst, but she didn't believe me. What does that have to do with me? Don't you remember laughing at me for saying that? Okay. I'm sorry. Well, sorry, but it's too late. But I guess I'll forgive you anyways. Let's just act like this conversation never happened. Okay, but what should I do after I woke up like this? Just act like I did. People will think we're crazy if we told them this anyway. What about our sis? Let's go. We're gonna be late. What the heck is going on? I have no idea. They're somehow time traveling with magic syringes. Honestly, I don't know. Let me know your theory down in the comment section. Where are we going? To school. How about the others? They're at the location we're going to. This is our school? Yeah, let's head inside. Rue! I don't think that's actually Ruby. It's somebody else. Sapphire, what? Shush. Use your current memory. What do you mean? You got that new memory. Use it. Remember, keep the act. Sapphire, I don't get what you mean. Meet me in the library after school and I will explain everything. Yes, please explain everything because we are confused. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Ami. Are you excited for the concert? What concert? Our friend's concert, dummy. What friend? Oh, geez, I almost forgot. I see she's keeping up the act. They're on the rooftop. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go see who this new friend is. Here we are. Wow, they look awesome. Hello there, the students of Gatchical High. We, we are, are the twins, twins Clara, Clara and Claire. Claire. We are hosting a concert this evening. Woohoo! Dan, people really are dramatic. Why are you even surprised if your friend's normal behavior? My friends? Yeah, we literally talk to them every day. So you're telling me that those maniacs are my friends? <laughs> Crystal, you're so funny. I need to go. Jeez, she's the one that acts like a maniac. Sapphire, I need your help. Shush. This is a library. Be quiet. I need your help. Remember when you told me to act normally with my new memory? I don't have any new memories at all. You're joking. I'm not, Sapphire. The new memory you have, it works differently from what you expect. It's like a gut feeling. Or it can be a memory of one of your old fake scenarios. Or deja vu. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have any of those. You're lying. I'm not. How am I gonna survive like this? This must be so confusing for her. She has entered a new life where she doesn't remember anything. Oh, it's the school bell. Meet me back here at break time. 
Bless her, she is so confused. Ugh, what should I do? Wait a second, who is that? Uh, well, it's time for school. You, how did you come out of nowhere? Let me go, you psycho. Who is this? Why are there so many new characters? I don't know who they are. What are you doing? What just happened? Don't act dumb. I clearly saw you fighting this innocent student. Wait, what? I would never do that. No more acting. Detention now. Oh, okay, I see. This is a teacher, duh. Could you not tell from the lack of facial features and the clothes? Me neither. All right, here we go. Detention time. Yay. Wait, you're one of those rainbows, right? Yeah, what do you want? How did you end up in detention? I don't tell strangers my information. I am Aubrey. What are you trying to say? She was saying her name, that her name is Aubrey? Just one very simple thing. Just tell me already. I hope your little heart doesn't break after this. You don't belong in the rainbows. Yeah, whatever. I'm speaking the truth. If you have seen the rainbows, you would have noticed. There are red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, purple. Notice how your color isn't there. Well, it's not like me and my sisters are some goddess representing the rainbows anyway. But you still don't belong with your sisters. I'm sorry, who is this girl? She needs to know her place. And that's not here disrespecting Crystal. You're just jealous that you're not one of us, darling. Tell him. Yeah, but I will be soon. Wait, what? Aubrey is definitely not a color in the rainbow. What is she talking about? Aubrey, your detention has ended. Now you can go back to class. Bye, Aubrey. Don't come back. Whatever. Kids in detention are cringe anyways. It's lunchtime. Ugh, I'm gonna be in here forever. Whatever, let's just use my phone. Nobody will notice. I think they might. Crystal! Ah! Ah, be quiet. What are you doing here? Follow me quick. But I'm in detention. That's right. So come quick before the teacher comes. She is breaking out of detention. I don't think this is a very good idea. What are you doing? I'm locking the door because people don't need to see this. Now, take a few steps back. What is happening? What? <laughs> she just threw the book at her. What the heck was that for? I checked to see if you'd notice anything weird. I think I have those new memories like you said. Perfect. Now get up because you look like a weirdo sitting on the floor there. You don't have to be so mean. I text our sisters that we're going to have a meeting in your hangout room today at seven. Great. I'll be home by six then. All right. Now we're good to go. Okay. I understand why she took her into a room to throw a book at her. That would be kind of weird to witness. After lunch break, Crystal's detention has ended. Oh, she's having a great time with her new BFFs. Class, please be quiet. You can come in now. Ooh, I like the hair. Hey guys, my name is Raven and I'm a new student. I hope I can make some new friends here. I think the girls are obsessed. Hey, she looks like one of your sisters. Yeah, let's befriend her. No, what, why? She looks so cool. I agree with Claire. Girls, stop talking. Anyways, Raven, you can sit behind the pink haired girl. Thank you, miss. Even though she seems to be innocent, I can tell she's trying to harm me. Or am I just imagining things? I guess I'll just move on. 7 p.m. It's time for the meeting. So as you guys can tell, I've gathered all of you into a room to discuss something very important. If it's about something pointless, then I'm gonna leave. She is not happy with her sister. It's about Crystal. I have read the book for a while, and I realized how there was never a pink sister in any of the older generations. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Are you really gonna believe those stupid books? And besides, we're 16, Sapphire. Who will believe in that magic? That did not sit well with Sapphire. I guess you've forgotten that the book saved your life, but I have more important things to mention. We currently don't have enough money. Selling old stuff doesn't really help us anymore. We have to find a job before the month ends or we could end up homeless. Oh no, we don't want that. How about our father though? Goldie, it's not the time right now. Oh, the doorbell's gone, who is it? I'll go get it. I hate how dad doesn't let us turn the lights on after five. Girl is literally walking around with a torch. But who's at the door? Hello. Can I come in? Sorry, but who are you? Please, I really need a place to stay. Sorry, we don't allow guests in after six. Please. Oh, she looks hurt. Whoa, what happened? Come in, quick. I'll call 911. This is a serious thing. Don't. Why? Are you hiding something? Well, not anymore. What is happening? The girls are getting in a little tussle. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? 
Sir, I can explain. Why are you hurting that innocent girl? I can explain. No, just get out of my house. Your girl has literally been cast outside. I shouldn't have done that. Why did I think exactly like my father? I promised myself never to be like him. I wish you were here, mum. My life would be so much better if you were here. Whoa, look at this place. It's like hell. Iris, somebody just mentioned you on Earth. If it's those people again, I'm gonna throw hands. It's one of your relatives, actually. Weird. Huh. Who could it be? It's Sapphire Aveline. Aveline? I haven't heard that last name in ages. Let me try to remember who it is. I can take you to the crystal ball if you want. Yeah, sure. All right, please stand up. Time to head to the crystal ball, everybody. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now what? The crystal ball will reveal all. I wish you were here, mom. Sapphire? Sapphire, my dear. I may forgive my ex for hurting me, but not for hurting my children. Give me the rights to go to Earth. Sorry, but I don't have the permission to do that. Fine, I'll be good from now on. Well, I'll ask the higher class about this. But now I need to teleport you back to your place. Wait, crying is not how you solve your problems. I know what to do. I've always been planning to escape that house since I was a child. There's an emergency bag under my bed. Whenever I'm ready to escape, I'll grab the bag. But I have to go back home. I'll sneak in through the window. Now, let's start. Where is Sapphire? Here she is. I'm leaving. She's gonna go for the bag and she's getting out of here. I have been waiting for this day for so long. Oh no, I don't think her sisters are very happy about that. What are you doing? Well, I gotta ask you the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, I'll handle this, Goldie. Sapphire, first you attacked an innocent girl and now you're trying to run away like nothing ever happened? We all promised not to be like our father since we were children. What is wrong with you? First, she tried to attack me. Second, why are you guys believing a random stranger without a second thought and not somebody who grew up with you? Well, maybe if you didn't go crazy, then we would believe you. You are so pathetic. Well, she's definitely gonna leave now. That didn't go down very well, did it? Sapphire is outside, homeless and alone. Forget about it. Who needs siblings? I can live alone by myself, but now I need a place to live. Let's search for my book. Oh no, where is the book? Everything in my bag has just suddenly gone. How am I gonna live now? Meanwhile, in another world. Her mom is slaving away with the broom, doing all of the jobs and being a very, very good devil. That's like two opposite things, isn't it? A good devil? Here comes the angel. You've done your job already. That's so impressive. You know, the other devils wouldn't do it that quick. What are you trying to say? The queen wanted to see you. Come on. Ooh, maybe she can go back to Earth. She's been a very good devil, so maybe she's allowed. May I come in? Wow, look at the queen. She looks epic. Your majesty. She's here. I've noticed how you're suddenly trying to act good. So tell me, Iris, what is the purpose of doing that? Well, it's because I wanted to go back to Earth. For what? I want to protect and I want revenge. So you want to be both an angel guardian and a revenge spirit. Sorry, but that is not an available option. If so, how about a transform spirit? Wait, is that what the black thing and the white thing were? They were spirits? Does that make so much sense? Your Majesty? Hazel, please leave. Yes, Your Majesty. Hazel is leaving. How did you know about that? Well, I guess I'm just special. Or you're really bad at hiding secrets. Did you know about the rainbows? I mean, kind of. I have seven children who look like a whole rainbow. So, it's you. I apologize for putting you through a harsh time. What do you mean? When I was younger, I found out that I couldn't have children. But as a royal blood, I have to find something to continue my generations. So I had an idea. I used the oldest spell that every royal did by creating new royal blood by using spells. They would usually come in rainbows, but the royal blood that was supposed to be cyan turned into pink. But that's okay, as long as they're my child. Until one day, Whoa, what is happening in this room? Crystal ball that contains the spell became severely damaged. Oh no, that maid crashed into it and smashed it. I was really sad and I thought that was the end. But then I later found out that the spell could still be saved by sending it to Earth. But I didn't know that you were going to be their mother since the person getting the children was randomized. So what, are you trying to get me to sympathize for you? No, but I will say that I'll help you to become a transformed spirit since I owe you. Deal? Yes, 
deal. She's getting to go back to Earth to see her children. This is so exciting. She's transformed. Later, a magical portal has appeared and she's gonna go through it. Remember, choose the blue portal when you go inside of there. All right, ma'am. And in she goes. Iris is inside of the portal and she's gonna get to see her children. The queen told me I have to find the blue portal as quick as I can or I'll be stuck in here forever. So where is it then? Oh, there it is. Hopefully this is the right one. It looks blue. Where she ended up? Whoa, that was tiring. Where is this place? The air in here is so weird. Am I on Earth? Let's head this way. Oh, she was like inside of a random cave. Whoa, is this really Earth? It's so pretty. Remember, she has been stuck down in hell for a very long time. She's forgotten what the Earth looks like. Wait. Hold up, this place is weirdly familiar. Let's go that way. No way, this really is Earth. This is where my husband proposed to me. Oh yeah, I remember this actually, from like the very first episode. It's not time to think about him right now. I have to save my children. Off she goes, she is a mother on a mission. I miss her so much. Excuse me, do you need anything? Oh yeah, I'm new around here, lol. I'm kind of lost, can you help me find my classes? I couldn't find it. There's a school map right on the school's main gate. Oh, sorry, I went to the school's second gate. But anyway, see you. Hey, have you heard about the popular girls? Yeah, it's so sad how she got cheated on. No, the blue haired girl. Oh, you mean Sapphire? I'm glad she went missing. Oh my gosh, those girls are savage. Do these kids not have any sympathy? Does that mean my kids are also like them? No, they're definitely not. My kids would never be like that. But now I've got bigger problems to worry about. Sir! What do you want? Have you heard the news about a student going missing? Yeah, why? Great, have you done something about it? Does this guy look like he's doing something about it? He's too interested in his tea. <sighs> why should I? Ha ha ha! Sir, I am serious. That poor student is in danger. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he is so helpful. Now, get out of my office. Why? I didn't do anything. <gasps> He is the black thing! Surprise, surprise! And fun fact, did you know that I can sense transform spirits? If you don't, then now you do. Sleep well. Oh my gosh, he is evil! I have to say, that is the biggest cliffhanger ending to a gacha ever. I hope you enjoyed the Rainbow Sisters. If you want to see another video from me, you can click on this one, and I'll see you there.